All right, so we're back. Uh, where we left off is uh, I just got the sample laid down into Reason. Tempo mapped whole nine. So what I'm going to do is bounce this track to disk. Um, just for location purposes, I'll just go ahead and save this on the desktop. We'll name it Sample uh, Temptations. <clears throat> always want to save as a WAV file. It's definitely my preference. I'm always in 24-bit mode. My preference there again. Some people like 16-bit, 12-bit. You know, if you're one of those dirty guys as far as, you know, the vintage SP-1200 sound. So, I'm a fire recycle. That's where I prefer to do my chopping. Um, the MPC-2000's workflow is ridiculously behind, although I do love some things about it. Uh, recycle is just, you know, the, the program of my choice. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is just uh, bring up this sample here. And Recycle basically will pull up that audio file that uh, we had basically just uh, left off within reason. So we're just going to play this. Um, first thing I want to do is go find that tempo. And I want to figure out exactly what tempo that I had it at and get as close to it as I can. Some guys like to be, you know, right on as far as tempo wise, bar wise, um, so that their, ch their chops and their samples are just extremely precise. Um, what you'll find, you know, watching me work is I'm probably the most unorthodox sampler that you'll meet. Tell me, I like stuff that's on. I like stuff that's off. Me, I like to just have, you know, different options me, when I'm trying to formulate a track. So me, what I do is sit here with the pen tool, find the hits that I would like. Um, these are basically your chops. So everywhere you're going to put a, a, a pen tool down, it's going to be a chop. Um, so for me, I'm not looking at bars, I'm not looking at anything. The only thing I'm looking for here is just anything interesting. Well, it's so good to me to see you again. And then what I'll do is go back and play it. You know, just try to figure out if I hear something while I'm doing this. One thing that I don't like about Recycle is that none of these chops can actually be imported to the keys, you know, right now. So you have to, you know, continually click and kind of listen and a bit tedious. I do know, uh, I do feel like Propellerhead will integrate this into uh, Reason at some point, so. I'll play with the tempo. I do like it down at this tempo. I always stretch the 60% for some reason. And again, um, everything is just your preference here. So let's see. I do like that later. So we'll probably definitely fool with that. Yeah, so I'm already hearing parts that, that I feel like will work. And you know, like I said, man, it's just a matter of just going through this and uh, finding things that you like. That's definitely one that I'll probably probably be using. I was Try not to chop more samples than I have keys. So the biggest keyboard that I keep here at the house is a 49 key. I usually don't try to chop more than 49 times because once we spread those across the keys, we want to make sure that we have enough keys to play. If you guys are using MPDs or um, MPC pads or whatever, unless you have the 16 pads by four banks. You know, so definitely you'd have more room to, to kind of fool around and, you know, tweak parameters there, so. Let's see if we can't get this one uh, eh, Probably take this back just a little bit, yeah. It's got some pretty dope sounds, and, you know, and kind of like what I said in the first video, I'm just looking for interesting parts. Not really tripping on what they're saying, what they're talking about. You know, like that vocal sample right there. Those stabs, I mean, Jay Dilla was the best at chopping up vocals to, uh, you know, perfection. So where he could turn certain words into different things and kind of accent some of the things in his music. So, you know, whatever sticks out to you. Uh, for this purpose, you know, I just want to give you guys an idea of how my creativity comes about. The main thing is, you know, Recycle is a great program, even though it's an older program, it's a great program, it still gets the job done. Alright, I think 
I'm about done with this here. Maybe a couple more. Let's see what else is in there. Thirty-two slices, so I should be wrapping this up here in just a second. Keep in mind, this is off the fly, so you know I'm doing this live as we're uh, we're kind of going along just for uh, the tutorial purposes. I'm gonna show you how you know how quickly you can kind of get an idea going. Get a, get a rough sketch, get a skeleton going so that you can start building your ideas and, and working quickly. Even if you're bringing, you know, external gear um, into Reason, you can still work very quickly and efficiently. I do like that. Let's check that out, see how it sounds. So, need to put one more chop here. We'll end it there with a the vinyl stop. And that's it. So, the sample is chopped 15, 15 and a half bars. Close enough, 87.3 on tempo. What you want to do is just save as. Um, it's going to save as a Rex file. I put that right on the desktop again. And then uh, what you'll see now is you have both the wave. Um, you can quit re or recycle, by the way, but you have both the wave and the Rex file so that you can continue editing uh, once you go back into reason. <laughs>